Good morning, folks. Uh, sort of adventure here. This is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, and just wanted to do a, a video uh, about Thanksgiving, being thankful. Uh, you know, we 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 have Thanksgiving every year. You know, we have turkey and dressing, potato salad. You know, everybody does it a little different. But you know, tomorrow, well, my my wife, Miss Miss Georgia, Miss Linda, is she's at home today cooking. She's gonna cook, start cooking today, and making potato salad and all that good stuff. And uh, so tomorrow, and, and my daddy in laws in town. He's he's staying with us. Uh, he's been here a week, and that's that's a blessing. So. We're thankful for that, but you know, I just wanted to just say that Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving. We should we should give thanks for what we have, who we have, not just eat turkey and watch football. So I'm going to give you right quick what I'm thankful for. Maybe I can start this off. So uh, I'm going to call this thankful. Wednesday, and it's up to y'all. If y'all wanna, y'all wanna put a video up, what you're thankful for, that's fine. If not, that's good too. But so what I'm thankful for, and this this will probably may get me a, another strike on YouTube, but I'm thankful number one for my Lord Jesus Christ forgiving me for my sins, dying on the cross for me, and the Father allowing that to happen. That's number one. Number two, I'm thankful for my wife, Miss Linda. I've been married to her going on almost 21 years. She's been a blessing. She is a blessing. Number three, my two daughters, my two stepsons, my grandchildren. Got two more grandchildren on the way. So I want them to be blessed and come into time, come into this world. I'm thankful for them. My dad in laws here, I'm thankful for him. My, my daddy, thankful for him. He's still here. He's 91. Uh, thankful for my for having a job, a good job, you know. Thankful for my leather shop doing great. I'm thankful for this great country. This great country is what I'm thankful for too. I'm thankful that I have my health. You know, I'm still fairly young. You know, 63 is not old, and don't say any different. Uh, we we tend to get you know when you get in your 50s and 60s, people tend to stereotype you. But I ain't gonna I ain't gonna listen to it. Uh, but I can still outwork a young man. So I'm thankful for that, uh, and I want to say I'm thankful for the knife community I'm a part of, and I call it the Knife Brotherhood. Uh, so I had some stickers printed up. I'm going to send them to Big J, and he can give them out. So I'm thankful for y'all. That's just a little, just a little thankful. I thank you to y'all. Made a lot of friends in this knife community, and I'm not gonna name anybody. Everybody knows who they are, but there's many. I actually talked to one, Mr. Terry, yesterday, yesterday evening. Terry's knives and man stuff. Talked to him on the phone. So, but y'all are many. So, appreciate y'all, uh, and I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and I took a breath. Drove to work and made it to Atlanta safe. So that's what I'm thankful for. I don't know if I left anything out, but I'm thankful that I can wake up and see the beautiful trees where I live, the beautiful wildlife, just you know, whatever. And I can I can I can see my wife and I hope and pray I make it home today and I can see my wife. Because she's pretty to look at. So, that's, that's what I'm thankful for. 
And I am gonna have just a little bit of knife content, not much. So, this is, this is my Mantis. Very good knife company. Uh, and I've been carrying this knife. I've been swapping back and forth uh, from this to that GEC H20. But I love this blade right here, man. I mean, it's, it's a good blade. So, it comes with a Kydex sheath, which I like. I like Kydex because it's got some good qualities, like if you're fishing in a boat or, or near the water, you know, uh, if you're kayak fishing or whatever, you know, the Kydex is good. But this knife is carbon steel, and you can see it's getting a little patina on it. So, uh, I've been wanting to uh, do make a leather sheath for it. So I was digging around. You know, I'm still, believe it or not, I'm still, still got a few things in boxes out in my barn and going through it. So I was digging in my toolbox and I found this. And this is the very first scout draw holster or sheath for scout carry. People call it scout draw, horizontal carry, whatever. I carry it, I like to call it scout carry because you carry it this way on your belt. And it's a good way to carry it, but this, see, this ain't gonna come out. Uh, and I believe I made this for the Azula uh, that I have. But you can see it's, uh, it's got a scar and this was on the leather. I like that. I've had people, you know, message me when I send them an item saying, this thing's got scratches on it and it's got marks on it. Yeah. Well, then don't buy leather. Get your Kydex because vegetable tan leather is going to have scars and marks on it from bug bites, from the cows scratching themselves on barbed wire, uh, from the from shipping it from shipping it from the factory. It's going to be rolled and thrown around when it gets to the leather place, you know, so it's going to get little marks and stuff on it. You can see them on here. So you can get this thing pristine and your first day you carry it, guess what? It's going to have marks on it. That's leather. That's what makes leather unique. It makes it yours. But, I mean, you can see right here, scuffs, marks, all kind of stuff. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this for this mantis. Uh, said it stays in my belt. Uh, it's been wet for him for the Zula, but it, it still fits this one good, nice and snug. So, uh, got a little snappage, or you know whatever snappability. Sorry, but. So yeah, I, I wanted to run that by y'all and uh, just just a little knife content. Uh, also, uh, carrying this uh, Kydex case, Bearhead Trapper. And you can see it's almost the same color as this. Is this uh, very good knife company, Mantis. I love Macarta. I like McCarter. I love carrying McCarter. I love bone. But I love McCarter. I like to carry McCarter. So, uh, anyway, that's the little deal with this. This thing's getting some good tainer. I am going to slice the turkey up with this tomorrow, which I'm going to wash it first. I'm going to wash it after I clean my toenails tonight. Just kidding. So, yeah, kind of was kind of happy when I found this thing. Good way to carry this. Still gonna carry the Kydex too, but uh, great setup, fantastic knife, very good knife company. I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm not, you know, I bought this knife, I'm not getting paid. Uh, Tim's Fish, he's he's got a couple of these. And he's, he's doing some reviews. Watch his channel. You know, uh, he's got a he's got a great U YouTube channel. So, but I'm not getting paid to say this. I really like this knife. 
This is my top EDC fixed blade. I'm gonna be carrying an EDC fixed blade more, more, a lot more. Probably gonna, probably gonna veer away from the flippers, the modern flipping knives, uh, and, and transition more to an everyday carry fixed blade. I still am gonna carry my case knives. I got this, and I got a, I got a sod buster in my other pocket. Yeah. So anyway, I'm up to ten minutes. Uh, so yeah, very good knife company, fantastic knife. Check his website out, check his Facebook page out. Verygoodknifecompany.com. Uh, he's got he's got different micarta. Uh, he's uh he's got different he's got different blade shapes. Uh, you can get on there and check his knives out. He makes different blades. He makes some good EDC knives. He makes some larger blades. Uh, so check him out. He he is in Clayton, Georgia. Clayton, Georgia. Uh, that is the northeast side of Georgia, the northeast Georgia mountains. Beautiful, beautiful part of the state. Clayton is up, you know, pretty close to the edge of Georgia. Uh, and my understanding, he's just, it's a single operation, and he does some quad. This knife. It's flawless. I'm just telling you. Uh, he's got a stainless steel. And I can't remember. I didn't write it down. But he's also got some stainless steel knives. He's got some stainless mantis. If you want stainless, this is carbon. I like carbon steel. If I do buy another another knife from him, which I may do it, I may get the stainless. Uh, but this is a this is a just a great knife, man, to carry. Uh, so. I carry it a lot of days, and I'll swap this with a with a with that my my uh, HR20 from GEC. It's a great little knife. So there you go. Main thing, y'all, be thankful. Remember what tomorrow's about. It's not about turkey. It's about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, being thankful. So we need to give thanks. You know, if y'all wanna. If y'all want to put a video, this is, I'm just going to say this is Thanksgiving Wednesday, day before Thanksgiving, because I know everybody will be too busy probably to do a video tomorrow, but you can do it tonight and put it on today and put it on tomorrow. Hope everybody has a, a great Thanksgiving. Appreciate the knife community. Appreciate all y'all guys and gals. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Miss, Miss C. God bless you. I did want to give the ladies a shout out. Y'all check Sarah out. SD Leatherworks. SD Leatherworks. Big J's wife, she's doing some great looking leather stuff. Y'all support her. God bless you. Have a great Thanksgiving. Be safe out there. And don't forget, keep your blade sharp. Be safe, y'all.